Welcome back to JK Fitness and Nutrition and welcome to today's workout. We have a full body, high intensity circuit training workout. We're going to torch and target our upper body, legs and core using both a combination of dumbbells and our own body weight. This is a Tabata strength and cardio workout. We're going to work on our muscular and cardiovascular endurance. We're going to do it using both weights and body weight movements, advanced exercises, some plyometrics thrown in there as well. I'm excited for this. Seven circuits, two rounds per circuit. Everything is 20 seconds in length, 10 seconds of rest. So what you're going to do is be alternating between weighted and body weight exercises. Each circuit follows the same format. Two weighted exercises for both our upper body and our legs, and then two body weight for both our upper body and legs as well. So heart rate's gonna be elevated. We're gonna be working hard from the beginning all the way to the end. All right, so make sure you have a variation of dumbbells available. Uh, you will have the option of doing a plyometric movement for our legs. So I'm going to go lighter when it comes to my weighted legs. For example, a goblet squat. I need to go do a goblet squat with a jump squat. If you want to go heavier, you're just going to give me a goblet squat. So you will have that option of doing the plyometric movement or keeping it a strict weighted lower body exercise. All right, so make sure you are stretched and warmed up as soon as I start that timer. We start, we don't stop to the very end. All right, so first exercise before we start, we're gonna hit up the back. Weighted, I want two bent over flies. So you're gonna come down nice and low. One, two, and I want two bent over row. Cycling through those two exercises as many times as you can. All right, starting in 10, circuit one, round one. Let's make it a good one. So legs are shoulder width apart. You're gonna drive those elbows back for our bent over rows and open up for our flies. Here we go for one, two, drive it back for one, two, excellent. So shoulder blades, squeeze those shoulder blades together, one, two, all right. We're gonna do body weight legs. When we hear that beep, put the dumbbells aside, five more seconds, please. That's it, excellent, three, two, one. All right, we have some pop squats for our legs, coming all the way down, one, two, quick switch in that middle. Make sure your feet, are flat on that ground. When you come down to that squat position, pushing those knees out. All right, from here, we're gonna do some body weight, do some mountain runners. So me plank position on the ground, please. All right, one, two, quick. That's it, five more seconds. Awesome. Right to that beat. There we go. All right, plank position. I want four coming under your chest, then bam, four coming across. So four straight, then four on that diagonal, all right? Just repeating. All right, here we go. So our first lower body weighted exercise, it's a goblet squat to jump squat. Like I said, I'm going lighter for that. If you wanna go heavier, just give me the goblet squat. All right, let's go for four, then drive across for four. One, two, three, four. Excellent. All right, and then go lighter. So up here, I want a goblet squat, then a jump squat. All right, if not, just give me straight, strict goblet squats. And up, that's it, pushing those knees out. So you come all the way down. All right, round two for this circuit. I paired together the upper body exercises, and then we'll hit up the legs together. All right, so we're gonna go back to two bent over flies with two bent over rows. All right, from the top, please. Two and two. Make sure your back, you're down nice and flat, sticking that bum out, come down nice and low, please. Let's go for one, two, palms out, drive it back for two. That's it again for one, two. All right, mountain runners to follow this, please. And we'll do our two leg exercises. Excellent, for one, two, staying down low, really isolate that back, please. Three more seconds, two, one, great job. Mountain runners followed by our pop squats. Remember, driving under your chest straight for four, and bam, across for four. Let's go. In this plank position, we're stacking our shoulders over our wrists. No bums in the air, please. Don't drop that head. Stare at that spot just ahead of you. Excellent, so I'm pushing through the palms of my hands. Everything is nice and tight, right? Pop squats, when we hear that beat, three, two, one, let's hit up the legs, one, two, after another. All right, pop squats, remember coming down nice and low, quick little change, and one, two again, here we go. All right, 20 seconds hard, 
followed by our goblet squat to jump squat. Circuit two, we're gonna start. We'll have an alternating snatch, weighted upper body. All right, excellent, coming down nice and low, right? That's it, three more seconds. Great job. Single dumbbell. I'm gonna do more of a, I'm gonna do the jump squat, so I'm going lighter for this. Make sure you have a nice wide stance, coming down all the way, and then jump it up. That's it, pushing those knees out. Every time we're in that squat position, right? All right, I'm gonna go a bit heavier for my alternating snatch. Single dumbbell, please. That's it, excellent. Five more seconds. Great to that beat, three, two, one. Single dumbbell, midline. You wanna use your legs for this movement as well, all the way up. And then alternate all the way up. All right, let's go. So you wanna be pushing your knees out as you come down. Use your legs to power up, leading up, bam, all the way over your head. That's it, feet are flat on that ground. Drill them nice and flat. All right, reverse jump squat with a pop squat. Body weight legs, please. So your hands are down. Take a jump back, sit low, pop in and out. Back down again, pop in and out. All right, here we go. So going back, little jump back in that squat position. Toe to heel, right? Toe to heel. Up. One, two, awesome. All right, from here, we have body weight, upper body. We're gonna do some sprawls on the ground, please. All right, sprawl. Arms are tucked into our sides, driving the knees on the outside and our feet on the outside of our body. Arms tucked in nice and tight. Here we go. Pushing down, bounding on the balls of your feet. So another plyometric movement coming up for our legs. I'm gonna go lighter. I'm gonna do weighted jump lunges. If you just wanna do weighted lunges, go heavier for that, please. That's it. All right, single dumbbell up here. I'm gonna be jumping. If you want, just step it out. All right, here we go. So this is the end of round one for circuit two. We're gonna go back to the top. I'm gonna to pair together the upper body and then the legs. All right, that's it, bounding up to that ceiling. Legs are shoulder width apart. Drive that back knee to the ground. Three, two, awesome. From the top, please. Alternating snatch, followed by our sprawl. All right, my hair is doing something wonky right now. Just caught a glimpse of it. It's always wonky. Who am I kidding? That's all right. I'm getting my workout in. I'm working hard. That's all I care about, right? All right, all the way up. Five more seconds. That's it, meet me on the ground. Let's do some sprawls, please. Remember, arms are tucked into our sides. You should really feel these in our triceps. And drive your knees on the outside of your body. All right, here we go. One more time each with our reverse jump squat to pop squat, followed by our weighted lunges or jump lunges. That's it, pushing through the palms of your hands, right? Nice, tight core, please. That's it, excellent. Three more seconds. Awesome. All right, we're gonna start wide, right? My toes are slightly pointed out. Hands down, pushing those knees out. Little jump back, pop squat up. Here we go. One, two, back down again, staying low. Get right back down again. As soon as you're done that, pop squat, please. Excellent. All right, great job. One more left in this circuit. Then we'll start circuit number three. It's going by faster, friends. Three, two, one. All right, weighted jump squat or reverse lunges. Jump lunges or reverse lunges, not jump squat. There we go, legs shoulder width apart, right? Take that step back and we're bounding up towards that ceiling. Everybody nice, tight core, please. Less than 10. Circuit three starts with a hammer curl to overhead press. Here we go, three more seconds. Two, great job. All right, here we go. So hammer, one, overhead press, back down again. All right, arms are tucked in by our sides. Legs are shoulder width apart for this, please. 
always soft bend in your knees. We're gonna do a pop surfer to reverse jump squat for our legs. That's it, excellent. Five more seconds. Let's still get those reps in, even with our weighted exercises, please. Three, two, one, awesome. So we are here, pop it out, jump back, back to that middle. One, two, back to that middle. Let's go. One, two, come back again. One, two, little jump in that middle. Step it out, weight on your heels, right? Sitting back, sitting back. All right, what do we got? Plank hops on the ground. Meet me in plank position. Three more seconds. Two, one more, excellent. All right, plank hops. So you're bounding side to side. It's like a V shape. All right, going back to that plank position in the middle. Here we go. All right, so we have some staggered squats. I'm gonna go lighter because I'm gonna do more of a plyometric movement. Same thing again. If you wanna go heavier and not give me the jump, that's completely up to you. That's it, make sure you're pushing through the palms of your hands. All right, so staggered squat, your back toe is in line with the heel of that front foot. I'm gonna be jumping up like that, all right? If not, you're just stepping it out, stepping it out. All right, so coming down on the outside of your thighs. Weight, I know you're falling, your upper torso is you're over your front leg, but I really want you to focus on sitting back. All right, from the top, three, two, one, hammer, overhead press, followed by our plank hops. Here we go, three more seconds. Remember from the base up, feet are shoulder width apart, flat on that ground, soft bend in your knees, right? That's it, excellent. All right, last round for circuit three. We're on to circuit four after this. Excellent. Keeping your chest up, core is nice and tight. Three more seconds. Meet me on the ground, plank position. Here we go. Then we'll hit up both of our leg exercises and then start circuit number four. All right, here we go, plank position. Bounding on the balls of your feet, nice and light. Pushing through the palms of your hands, right? One, two, one, two. All right, pop surfer with that reverse jump squat, ending with our weighted staggered squats. Excellent, keep going, right to that beat, please. Three, two, one, there we go. All right, remember as you step out, then you give me that jump back, and back to that middle. Here we go, one, two, back to that middle again. That's it, excellent. All right, nice and low, one more to go in this circuit, in circuit four. We're gonna start with some lateral to front raise. That's it, nice and low, one, two, three more seconds. Awesome, great job. I need my dumbbells, I'm just stand in there. All right, remember that back toe in line with your heel, sinking back, right? Sinking back, one, two, that's it. So always be nice and light on your feet when we're doing our plyometrics, right? Nice and light. As well, you wanna be pushing your knee out so it's not falling in. All right, five more seconds. We're gonna do some lateral to front raise. Three, two, one. We're gonna start on the outside, coming up, back down. All right, here we go. Lateral front raise, circuit four. We're gonna follow with single leg deadlift. To a lateral lunge, get up from body weight legs. That's it, excellent. Five more seconds, please. Make sure we're breathing. Proper position in this. Three, two, one more. Bam. All right, so single leg deadlift. You're going to hinge forward, touching if you can. Push across, stabilize, push across. All right, soft bend in that knee. Bam, push across, stabilize, and across. All right, we have a plank reach to pike, knee tap on the ground, plank position after this, hinging forward, bam, explode off. So if you can, maintain that weight on the outside leg every time. All right, so we're gonna reach, same hand, give me that pike, knee tap, reach, same hand, pike, knee tap. All right, here we go. So reach, coming across, 
we have some weighted lateral lunges coming up after this one two and across core is tight legs and arms shoulder width apart please that's it excellent great job core is tight three two one up and at them so we are in a lateral we're in a lunge position jump to that side switch it jump to that side lateral lateral jump staying low as i'm switching see i'm never standing upright i'm maintaining that tension under my over my on my legs as i'm hovered over my quadriceps all right from the start we're gonna do some lateral to front raise three two great job one more round circuit four and then circuit five we'll start we have some chest press coming up all right here we go one two that's it make sure we're not swinging be in control right meet me on the ground after this our plank reach hike knee tap one arm at a time that's it soft bend in your knees right not swinging be in control three more seconds please two one great job on the ground one arm stacking your shoulders over your wrist right everything is nice and tight stare at that spot so we don't drop that head let's go for one two ahead great job all right legs coming up we have our single leg deadlift and then we have our weighted lateral lunges excellent here we go one two come across nice and tight nice and tight that's it three more seconds all right start with our body weight first remember hinging forward soft bend in that knee you can stabilize on that single leg and lunge across here we go stabilize push across excellent really use your core when your core is nice and tight it helps with your balance all right here you go push across awesome all right dumbbells weighted lateral lunges three two one more awesome great job here we go then meet me on the ground we do some chest press so stepping back in that lunge position little jump lateral jump here we go staying low that front foot planted on the ground right planted and little jump bam that's it so i'm on the ball of my back toe legs are shoulder width apart awesome five more seconds start with some chest press and we'll hit up some lateral shuffles for our leg all right on the ground please chest press and as usual i'm going to do some core i'll throw in a leg raise all right here we go chest press if you want to just focus on that keep your legs up still like this please all right lateral shuffles side to side we hear that beat please excellent pushing your spine to the ground try not to arch your back three more seconds that's it two one so it's a side to side i want a little touch down so low touch one two one two all right side to side let's go side to side bam little shuffle it's not a squat it's a shuffle i want that touch down on the side push your knees out right i don't want them falling in it's a nice wide stance we have a jump to plank walk down two shoulder taps jump walk it down one two walk it jump it's not a squat it's a jump all right so jump walk it one two walk it back just jump up bound up to that ceiling one two getting set in that plank position then tap those shoulders back jump it up that's it excellent stacking your shoulders over your wrist three two all right we have weighted step ups everybody same thing i want the weight up here one two step back down again is all we're doing step all right so you're driving through that planted foot one two maintaining that weight on that same foot and then come back down again all right step up sorry following our step ups chest press again on the ground round two chest press leg raise and we have two more circuits left after this like i said this is flying for me i love it i think because 
I'm really enjoying the workouts that I'm putting out there. So it makes it uh, go by fast for me. I just hope you're enjoying them as well. I hope you guys are liking uh, the content and everything. All right, we're gonna do our jump to plank walk down with our two shoulder taps. All right, let's go. So it's a jump up. It's not, you, typically I do a squat, but today it's just a jump up. One, two, and up. All right, awesome. One, two, all the way, jump it up. We have our lateral shuffles followed by our weighted step ups. Five more seconds, please. That's it. Awesome, three, two. I got one more in me, bam, bam. Great job. All right, so low, shuffle for two, one, two, and touch. All right, nice and low, pushing those knees out. One, two, I'm bounding, I'm on the balls of my feet, right? It's like quick feet movement, down, one, two, and tap, one, two, and tap. All right, staying low, your legs should really be feeling this, all right? We're not standing upright, staying low. That's it, three, two, awesome step up. Everybody have this front hold squat. All right, uh, sorry, front hold um, with a dumbbell, please, as you come down into the step up. The things I say sometimes without even thinking, because I'm already trying to focus on what's coming up to get you guys ready. First one for circuit six is a tricep kickback. All right, three more seconds, please. Two, one, great job. Tricep kickbacks, please. Arms are tucked into your side. Coming down nice and low, just like our bent over flies. I want us low. All right, arms are tucked into our sides. Squeezing up top. Excellent. We have some curtsies for our body weight. And we're throwing some burpees. Excellent, so don't drop your head. Arms are tucked in, legs are shoulder width apart. Coming down nice and low, please. Awesome, three more seconds, please. Two, one. Great job. So I want a curtsy, push across. Curtsy, push across, all right? Get that extra little, little uh, spice on the glutes as we push across in that lateral motion, right? There we go. So we're putting, we're tucking our back foot in behind us. Weight on that heel, stay low. That's it, that's it. excellent. Burpees, just burpees coming up. Three, two, one. So burpee, like I said, hinge at the hips. Coming down, squat position, hands down. Kick your feet back out from under you. Bam, jump it up. All right, here we go. So focus really on swinging your feet under you so they're landing flat. All right, we have a, sing we have a weighted, so you'll need a single dumbbell. Do a wide squat to a single leg half raise. All right, awesome. Everybody has a weight up here at chest level. We're squatting, popping, popping. Give me that calf raise on the ball of your foot, all right? I want you really engaging your core as you hold the dumbbell up. Coming down, that squat. Don't forget about that squat position, please. That's where your power is going to be generated from. Squat, pushing those knees out, popping up. That's it, three more seconds. Back to the top, one more time through. Tricep kickbacks, please. Followed by our, our burpees. All right, let's get down nice and low. Arms tucked in, squeezing at that top, squeezing. Excellent. All right, last round. One more circuit. Our last circuit is where I have core thrown in. A couple body weight exercises with our core. One is body weight and one is weighted. All right, three more seconds, please. Awesome. Burpees. Just burpees, right? It's plain old. Loving them burpees. Three, two, here we go. Coming all the way down, that squat, right? Drilling your feet flat, swing them under you. One, two, up. Excellent. Remember our arms, please. Tuck them into our sides. Coming all the way down, hands are flat. All right, five more seconds. Great job. We got our two legs to hit up. We have our wide squat. Sorry, curtsy first, then our weighted wide squat to single leg. All right, so tuck it in, push across. Tuck it in, push across, that's it. 
excellent. Staying low, bam, tuck that foot in, weight on your heel, really let's attack that glute, right? Less than 10, single dumbbell. And like I said, last circuit, we have some core and body weight. Three, two, one, great job, single dumbbell. Everybody up here, core is tight. Wide squat, and I transfer my weight to one leg as I pop up, right? Coming down, squat, both feet flat on that ground, then bam, punching up, right? Punching up the ball of your foot. Awesome. So our squats, we're using our glutes, and then these calf raises, we're targeting our quads and our calves. Three more seconds. Awesome, I want a body drop all the way on the ground, and then I want two plank openers back to body drop. Let's go, push yourself up, pivot for one, pivot for two, back down again, and up. I want your arms, please, tucked in for our body drops. All right, we're gonna do our first, first core exercise. Do a leg raise to toe touch. Body weight, please. Excellent, here we go. So we're gonna open up into hollow rock position. Get those fingertips off the ground. Toe touch. So I always say toe touch, but then I say make sure I don't want you reaching towards your toe. I want you extending up towards that ceiling, right? If you can, keep your legs and arms off the ground. All right, we're gonna do some body weight legs. We're gonna do some frog jumps, and then we'll do a weighted core exercise. All right, so frog jumps, quite simple, very effective. Toes out, you're just Bring your fingertips to the ground. All right, here we go. These are great for our inner and outer thighs. As always, in squat position, you wanna be mindful of your knees. So make sure your knees are in line with your toes, pushing your knees out. All right, we're gonna do weighted Russian twists on the ground. Three more seconds, single dumbbell. Let's go. So if you can, feet off the ground, you just be coming side to side, all right? Really focus on bringing your torso across your body, one, or um, turning your torso, bringing your opposite hand across your body. One more round of both of these. All right, we're gonna stop with our, start with our body drop and our plank reaches, sorry, plank openers, and then we're gonna do some frog jumps. All right, plank position on the ground, arms tucked in, we're gonna push through the palms of our hands. All right. Four left, let's go. All right, push yourself up. Pivot and turn for one, two. These are a great core exercise as well. Every time we are in this plank position, be mindful of our core and engage it because we are working it and we are using it. That's it, all the way down. Five more seconds, one more time for our frogs. Three, two, one. Frog jumps, oh boy, sweat is crazy. All right, toes are out. One more time, then our, ending with our last two core exercises. That's it, pushing those knees out, nice and light on our feet. Excellent. Remember, every time we're doing these movements, try and be nice and light so we're not pounding. Five more seconds, awesome. Three, two, one. Let's start with our body weight core first, and then we'll end with our weighted Russian twist. Leg raise, toe touch. So extending up, fingertips to that ceiling, open up into that hollow rock position. Get your shoulder blades off the ground. Bam, fingertip up to that ceiling. Extend and open, awesome. All right, we have five more seconds. Single dumbbell to end with a Russian twist. Three, two, one, let's go. All right. So if you need to keep your feet on the ground, that's fine. If not, maybe challenge yourself a bit. If you can, halfway through maybe, then drop them, or just challenge yourself and keep them up the entire time. That's it, coming across one. Make sure you're leaning back enough to really isolate and use your core. Awesome. All right, right to that beat, come on. Make sure we're breathing, that's it. All right, we are done, I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't done so already. I have a ton of great videos coming your way, and I love training along with you. Have a great day.